Hey, welcome to iFlip for Math MathCast, lesson 11-10, dividing unit fractions by whole numbers. This is just the opposite of what we did in lesson 11-9 last night. So I'm Mrs. Gooding and our quote is still by Cesar Chavez. It's an important quote. Students must have initiative. They should not be mere imitators. They must learn to think and act for themselves and be free. You can use this in just about every area of your life. Doing what you believe is right and standing up for what you believe in and helping people around you who maybe don't have the courage to stand up for themselves. Our learning goal tonight is to divide fractions by whole numbers. Our individual lesson learning goal is to represent a whole number as a fraction. For example, the whole number 3 can be written 3 over 1. Find the reciprocal of a whole number, which means to flip the numerator and denominator. Always use the reciprocal of the amount by which you are dividing. In a regular division problem, we would consider this to be the divisor. Multiply two fractions together and simplify. Our vocabulary tonight is fraction. Again, that means an amount that is greater than zero and less than one. It's a part of a whole, it's just a piece. We're also using the word reciprocal, which means two fractions whose product is one. Product, remember, means we're multiplying them together. For example, the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4 over 1. When you multiply those together, you get 4 over 4, which equals 1. To find the reciprocal, just flip the numerator and denominator. Here's our first example, 1 half divided by 4. To use the algorithm to solve this problem, we'll rewrite 1 half we're going to change our operation to the opposite operation, which is to multiply. And then if we were writing 4 as a whole number, we would write it 4 over 1. But we want to use the reciprocal of that, so we're going to flip the numerator and denominator's positions and write 1 fourth. Then we multiply straight across. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 4 is 8. So, one half divided into four parts is one eighth. Let me show you why that's true. If we have half, here's the other part of the circle that you can't see. Here's half. If we divide it into four parts, then we would actually have eight pieces. This is actually one eighth of a whole because even though these pieces aren't here, they still count as the part of a whole that you would use. So when you count them all, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So dividing a half into four parts gives you actually the answer of one of eight parts or one eighth. Let's do some practice problems. Number one, one third divided by two. Go ahead and work that problem just like we used the algorithm in the example problem. Pause it and push play when you have your answer. Did you write 1 sixth? Let's see how we did that. So we rewrite this problem using the reciprocal of 2. If 2 written as a fraction is 2 over 1, then the reciprocal is 1 over 2. Actually, those aren't equivalent, but excuse me. So, we're going to multiply 1 third times 1 half. And we get 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 sixth is our answer. Number 2, 1 seventh divided by 7. Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 1 49th? Let's do that one together. So we'll rewrite 1 7th, use multiplication, and the reciprocal of 7 is 1 7th. So 1 times 1 is 1, and 7 times 7 is 49. 1 49th. Number 3, 1 8th divided by 2. Pause it and push play when you have your answer. Did you write 1 16th? Let's work that one. So 1 8th times, using the opposite operation, the whole number 2 is represented by 2 over 1, so the reciprocal of that is 1 over 2. 
1 times 1 is 1. 8 times 2 is 16. 1 16 Practice word problems. If Mr. Chavez divides one half cup into eight parts, how much is each part? Remember, if you see words, give me words. So write your answer in a complete sentence, rephrasing the question. Pause it and push play when you have it written down. Did you write something like, if Mr. Chavez divides a half cup into eight parts, each part will be one sixteenth of a cup. Let's see how we did that. So we rewrite one half, change our division symbol into a multiplication symbol, and eight over one, written as a reciprocal, is one eighth. One times one is one, and two times eight is sixteen. One sixteenth again. It's time to challenge yourself. Work this problem. 8 ninths divided by 2 fourths. Then, when you have your answer, think about what always happens when you divide a larger fraction by a smaller fraction. What's the result? It's the same every time. Show your work and explain your answer in your flip journal. Come back tomorrow ready to check your answer. Finishing up, there is Cesar Chavez with, um, with Bobby Kennedy. So Bobby Kennedy really supported the workers who were striking. He felt like they deserved higher wages. So it's time to review your learning goals. Go back. Write down if you're at a level 1 or a 2 or a 3 in your learning. Write down any questions you still have in your flip journals. Dynamo Division, you have completed Lesson 11-10. Divide unit fractions by whole numbers. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.